Smoking is still the number one cause of preventable death in the United States, killing almost half a million people per year. This trend is somewhat encouraging as it suggests that perhaps teens are turning to e-cigs in order to quit. E-cig smokers do not inhale the lethal chemicals or dangerous tar that often result in lung cancer, thus increasing their popularity and general appeal. There are 3,300 students enrolled in Martin Luther King Junior High School located on West 65th Street in Amsterdam. While a rainy day might keep the students inside, a recent study released by the CDC this past Thursday suggests that an increase of high schoolers who smoke e-cigarettes, 2 million in the United States, might make getting a little wet worth it. Specifically, the report shows that e-cig use among high school students tripled in just one year from 6,600,000 to 2 million. Interestingly, too, e-cig use also tripled among middle school students. Because e-cigs are so new, scientists are not sure about the negative long-term health effects of the popular device. More importantly, e-cigarette smokers still inhale the nicotine that they would otherwise inhale smoking tobacco. Substance abuse researchers are concerned that e-cigarettes are extremely harmful to adolescent development. But it facilitates the release of a gene, delta force B, uh, which is related to reward, which means that once a child is exposed to nicotine, if exposed to cocaine, they're going to be much more likely to experience positive uh, effects and continue to use. So whether you have nicotine in a cigarette or nicotine in, a, you know, in an e-cigarette, it's nicotine. And the FDA is taking notice of this trend, urging parents that e-cigarettes should not be seen as a healthier choice. The legal age to buy e-cigarettes in New York City is 21, but clearly millions of minors are getting around the law. Melissa Ferris, Columbia News Tonight.